Magandang oras at magandang buhay sa ating mga katiyats at mga kababayan. Ang ating episode ngayon ay tungkol sa secret diary ni FM Apulakay na hindi na i-publish noon noong buhay pa siya. Ngayon ay merong nag-publish nito isang uh, channel sa YouTube na The Filipino Future at uh, narito ang kanyang mga pahina na babasahin ng ating ka-vlogger kortisi ng The Filipino Future atin pakinggan narito ang video Ang kontrobersyal na diary ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos na dapat malaman ng sambayan ng Pilipino Narito at babasahin ko kung ano ang nilalaman ito Marcos Diary January 1, 1970 Yesterday, I finally transferred all of my worldly possessions to the Filipino people through the Ferdinand E. Marcos Foundation. I have been planning this for many years but I felt that the beginning of my second term was the most propitious time. This was a decision arrived at after a long deliberation and was not the result of peak, anger, despair or emotion, nor is it due to a sense of guilt because some of the fans come from the Yamashita treasure, nor is it just a political stunt. I have no further political plans. And it seems a burden has been lifted from my shoulders. The surprising thing is that the reaction of the people seemed to be of no consequence to me. It was a noble act waiting to be done. I feel I am above all the pettiness of men and I look down on them with some contempt but with a counterbalance of understanding. Attachment a Statement of President Ferdinand Marcos on disposition of his worldly goods through the Marcos Foundation December 31, 1969 I have today given away by general instrument of transfer all my worldly possessions to the Filipino people through a foundation to be organized known as the Marcos Foundation. Moved by the strongest desire and the purest will to set the example of self-denial and self-sacrifice for all our people, I have today decided to give away all my worldly possessions so that they may serve the greater needs of the greater number of our people. It is my wish that these properties will be used in advancing education, science, technology, and the arts. This act I undertake of my own free will, knowing that my need of material possessions will, having always been a simple man, my needs will always be lesser than those of many of our people, who have given me the highest honor within their gift, an honor unshared by any one of my predecessors and not likely to be shared by anyone else in the future, no, no other Filipino leader. Since about a year ago, I have asked my closest, some of very my closest confidence to study the mechanics of this decision. Today, studies have been completed and a foundation will be formed to administer these properties and all funds that they may be generated therefrom. My wife, Imelda, is in agreement with this decision. Provisions will be made for my children so that they shall be assured of satisfactory education and be prepared to meet their lifetime duties and ending works. For the moment, my most sincere hope is that this humble act shall set the example and move to greater deeds of unselfishness and compassion. Many of our countrymen whose position in society gives them a stronger duty to minister to the needs of our less fortunate brothers and countrymen. Marcos Diary, January 3, 1970 Some people ask me why I have given away my earthly possessions. I invariably answer that I did not need them but that the people did. But I have been asking myself, why has the world become so vile, so materialistic, so dirty, all is pragmatism, selfish and unedifying? Why is there no more tenderness, all sex? Why is there no more charity, all malice? Even the clergy has become self-centered. They do not sacrifice for sacrifice sake, but for self-glorification like the seven bishops who had their appeal to me published in the, in the front pages of the Metropolitan Dailies. If their motivation was sincere change, they could have come to me first, but they sought publicity first. The worst part is their premises were all false, I hope from ignorance not malice. During the war in some critical phase of a battle, I always ask myself what could I do which others dare not do and which would change the tide of battle. Now after the 1965 elections, I kept asking myself this until I decided that giving my properties to the people was the answer. This would be exemplary. No one else dares to do it. It will change the tide of the times. Instead of pragmatism, compassion. 
instead of words, deeds, instead of self, the nation and humanity. And I gather this has been the effect in the capitals of the world. Satisfying but I must exert effort so I am not myself dragged into self-glorification. I remember after the war, I concealed everything about my medals. I wish I could do a similar anonymity now. I'm collecting the reactions to my disposal of all my possessions to the people. Some are sanctimonious, super salacious, patronizing. Aimee loves to repeat these newly discovered words. Frauds. I fear for our country. There is not one among the young generation whom we can build up as president. Among the nationalistas, Puyat and Lopez are too old. Tolentino has a background of promiscuity. Diokno is self-centered and lacks humility. Among the liberals, Rojas is a weakling. Aquino is a congenital liar, a braggart, and a compulsive chatterbox. Magsaysay is brainless. Salonga is petty, pompous, and sanctimonious fraud. Wow, napakaganda ng pagkasulat ng diary. Ang penmanship ng Apula kaya ay parang esteno, you know? parang sa doktor. At dito ay nasabi niya, nabanggit niya ang mga kahinaan ng kanyang mga rival politicians noong kanyang kapanahonan. Mga kontemporary niya ay nasabi niya ang mga karakter ng mga ito. At ang maganda rin sa diary na ito ay na-mention niya yung Wealth for Humanity na dapat ipamana niya sa sa buong uh, Pilipinas sa sambayan ng Pilipinas kasi yun naman talaga ang purpose ng uh, ayamana na yun kasi hindi talaga yun kay FM merong may nagmamayari niyan at yun din ang hinabilin bago mamatay yun hinabilin kay FM na para sa Pilipinas ang mga gintong yan at Uh, sabi niya ay 10% lang ang kukunin ni FM para sa kanyang pamilya sa buong kayamanan na yun. Napagaganda. Kaya kung nagustuhan niyo ang ating video ngayon mga katiyats, mga kaubayan, huwag kalimutan isubscribe ang ating channel para sa mga upload na ganito. Ako'y magpaalam na God bless the Philippines.